Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some magical romance books. I have one previous recommendation video, I'll link it down below if you would like more recommendations, but these are basically romance books with a spice of magic, with a pinch of magic, with a lot of magic, whatever the case may be. I love romances that have a little bit of magicalness to them. So let's get into these. First one that I have is A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. This one is so cool because it actually starts out on Earth and it's like a portal fantasy kind of, kind of. Our heroine is a jewel thief and she's from Earth, from our time, one of us, and she ends up getting roped into the life of this witch and the witch ends up putting her in her doppelganger's body on a fantasy world. So she looks exactly like she does on earth as like who she is. Her name's Romaria and she has her own physical body form, whatever, her own person on earth, but she has a doppelganger. Someone who has the same name as her, looking exactly like her, has this whole other life and personality in this fantasy world. And basically her being gets put into doppelganger fantasy world Romaria's body. And people are out to kill her because uh, fantasy world Romaria did something not good. So yeah, this is a series. I believe book number three is out. I've only read book number one. I need to continue on with the series for sure. Cause this was so fun. There's like twists and turns and plot twists. I originally buddy read this book with Tori from Novel Life and it was so fun to buddy read this book with her. Definitely a book to buddy read with someone cause there's a lot going on in here. Next I have a whole series. This is the Wraith Kings series by Grace Draven. So the first two books are the main duet. This is Radiance and Eidolon. These are the Fae Crate special editions. Sorry, I had to catch that book. <laughs> it was sliding off my lap. As I was saying, this is the Fae Crate special edition um, versions of these. I absolutely love them. And then this one is still in the Wraith King series, but it's about a different couple. I love these books so much and they're chocked full of magic, okay? These are fantasy romances. Um, first one is the romance between Ildico and Brishin, and it's a friends to lovers, kind of like monster-esque romance. Um, they get an arranged marriage to unite their families to form a fa familial, familial alliance. <laughs> they actually think the other person is absolutely grotesque and ugly when they first meet because they're from different peoples. Um, but then they get to know each other, become friends, and they end up falling for each other. A very slow burn. I love it. And this one, is a continuation to their story because something happens at the end of this book and so this one has more like political aspects in here more of a plot line than a romance but the romance is still in here i don't i don't know how else to describe it and then this one is about a whole another couple um Sarevek and anuzet she is the like war captain um for ildico and Bershin's people so the kai people the gray skinned people. Sarebek is a human man. So humans and Kai do not mingle, do not live together. And so like, it is very uncommon to see them in couples. So I love this series so stinking much. It's so good. Like literally this is my favorite romance book of all time, Radiances. So I definitely will talk about these till the day I die. There's so many magical elements in here, especially Eidolon. Like, dude all i'll say is like this one is chock full of magic and it is so sticking good next i have the longing of lone wolves and the magical aspect in here i can't even like wrap my brain around um so this is the first book in a series and this book starts out with our heroine in las vegas and the world is kind of like kind of like at a state of shock there's this smog smoke that is just like filling up the earth's atmosphere and people are dying like kind of like apocalyptic-esque. The heroine goes to sleep at the beginning of this book and wakes up laying in the snow in her pajamas in the middle of nowhere. And she's like, where am I? Where are my roommates? Where are my friends? That so literally were all asleep around me. What is going on? These people end up finding her and they look very strange and um, end up tying her up, literally about to kill her. But then a man ends up saving her and she's the only one that can see this man. He's apparently invisible to everyone else. Turns out that is now Earth like millennia later. Um, something happened to where she either got like pushed forward in time or something along those lines. And now we have wolf shifters or here's a wolf shifter who's been outcast from his clan. And because of his being outcast, he got cursed to be invisible, except certain people can see him. And that's part of like the curse or whatever. So I can't talk about it anymore because I won't spoil it but the magical aspects in here 
are really unique and cool. Ooh, if you want like a more monstery one, I have His Darkest Craving by Tiffany Roberts. Sophie is our heroine, she's our human woman, and she goes to write in a cabin in the middle of nowhere to catch a break. She's a writer, she rented this cabin on the edge of these very creepy dark woods, and uh, that's where Cruz lives, who is this shadow entity demon thing. Um, he was cursed years, hundreds of years ago. He was this fey guy. That's what he looks like in his human form. Um, fey, human form, whatever. Um, he did something not good. So he got cursed to be the shadow entity and he can only be his like physical fey form once a year, I believe on Halloween. And he kills every single human he comes in contact with. He hates humans. But then he like, his smoke version of him, right? Like seeps into her bedroom at night and he's literally like looming over her to kill her and he can't do it. He's like, why can't I kill this human? And so he just ends up stalking her and um, watching her all the time. And yeah, he ends up falling for her, this smoke demon. And you wouldn't think a smoke demon like entity thing is like hot, but it is. It is. Next, I have The Fake King's Curse by Jamie Schlosser. This one has a lot of magical elements to it. The hero is cursed. Um, the princes? the prince, the children of kings and queens in this fey fantasy realm that the hero Kyrian lives in have been cursed by these evil witches to be blind upon birth. And the only way they can get their sight back um, is to find their faded mate. The only catch is you can't really find your faded mate unless you lock eyes with them. So how are you going to know someone's your faded mate if you can't see them? So that's like the little trick in there. Um, so this book starts out with our two characters meeting when they're children. The hero falls through a portal in his fantasy world, lands in this creek in our world, and our heroine sees him trying to swim in this creek, is basically drowning, saves his life. The creek is on her family's property. And um, they basically become best friends at that point and they grew up together. He visits her like every single day through this portal and they just grew up being best friends. And there comes a point though, where the heroine comes up to him and is like, hey, I have to go to college. You're not gonna see me for three months. And he's like, oh, that's not happening. So he takes her and basically pulls her through the portal to go to his fey realm. So there's a bunch of stuff going on in here, very magical heavy, this whole series is. So I could mention this whole series heavy on the magical aspect. Next I have Stalked by the Kraken by Lillian Lark. This one's more paranormal because it takes place in our world. Um, the heroine is a witch matchmaker. She works for this matchmaking company and she can kind of see these tethers and bonds between people and figure out if their mates are made for each other, right for each other, whatever the case may be. One day this man comes in to her matchmaking place and he's like, okay, I want you to set me up with someone. She goes, okay, great. Let me get you some options. And he's like, no, 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 no. I want you to set me up with yourself. Little does she know that that's our hero. And um, he's actually a Kraken shifter. He can shift into a Kraken and that's apparently very rare. And he ate, was able to scent her like weeks ago. And so he knows that this woman is his fate and mate. He just, he's, he doesn't know how to go about telling her that. So that's kind of like how this book starts. There's a lot of magical elements going in here. She's a witch, um, he's a Kraken shifter. So yeah, it's actually really fun. Sweet Vengeance by Viano Onimo. I think that's how you pronounce that. Please tell me if I'm mispronouncing that. Our heroine is someone who is out for revenge. Um, there was, I believe a coworker of hers who sexually assaulted her and she is going to get payback, get revenge. So she summons a demon who is our hero. And he is so turned on by her vengeance. Like, oh my gosh, it turns him on so badly <laughs> to where like, he's like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm gonna help this woman ruin this man's life. Heck yeah. Um, so there are magical elements in there um, with her summoning him and him doing things to help her get back at him, to make him start going crazy and insane um, because she literally wants to not just kill this man. She wants to literally make him think like he's going crazy um, because he ruined her life. Ooh, a novella is A Blood Moon by Jillian Graves. We have another witch heroine. Um, this one is paranormal. So her heroine owns this bar for paranormal creatures. She's a witch, like I said before. And she ends up going to a party that her friend is hosting and ends up hooking up with this hot as hell vampire man named Vlad. Like, oh my gosh, they had an amazing time together. But she's like, I'm never gonna see him again. But she does when she realizes that he actually manages the very up and coming club across the street that's taking a lot of her business. And she's so pissed. She's like, oh my gosh, he is the reason why my sales are down, the reason why I'm like flailing in my business. Like I cannot be with him again. Whereas he has the opposite opinion. He's like, I don't really care that we have like rivaling businesses, it's whatever, like I really like you. And she's like, huh, no, 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 not happening. So she's fighting it so hard to not 
be with him again. So I love this one. It's so fun and it's so short. And we have like a grumpy sunshine where the heroine is the grump and the hero is the sunshine character, even though he's a vampire. <laughs> His Beauty by Jack Carbon is another novella. So this is essentially Beauty and the Beast, but if the beast never turned into a man, like a human man. He's a beast the whole time. That's basically it. And it's a novella version. It's so hot, it's so fun. There are magical elements, even though he doesn't like shift back into a man. So yeah, that's literally all there is. It's so short. And lastly, I have Draco by Miss Layla Fay. This one has some interesting magical elements to it, okay? Our heroine just is known for having the worst luck possible, worst luck possible. She doesn't know, she's actually cursed. She's a human woman, she doesn't know about magic or shifters or anything like that in our world. Um, and she doesn't know about any of that stuff. So she doesn't know that she's cursed. The moment that she goes in for a job interview at this restaurant that Draco, this dragon shifter owns, um, he notices there's this like aura around her. He can sense this magic around her, even though she doesn't know about magic, doesn't doesn't have magic herself. He's like, okay, something's up with her. So I'm gonna hire her and figure out what's going on. And then he also needs her for a different reason I cannot tell you about because you need to read that without me spoiling it because it's definitely interesting. Um, but he needs her for a specific reason for his secret ingredient in his food because he's a very well-renowned chef. But um, yeah, no, she's actually cursed. Once she figures out about that whole world of paranormal creatures and magic and stuff like that, they go kind of like a little bit on a quest or a mission to try and break the curse that is on this heroine. And our hero is also a dragon shifter, so keep that in mind as well. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. Those are some romances with some magic in them. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any kind of magical sparkle emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.